Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake. The clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Okay, so New York City two years ago. We're playing Alan Wake. Some sort of flashback. I had a hangover. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Okay, so you had a drinking problem and you need your sunglass uh, sunglasses. Come on, put them on. Uh, oh. The sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. <laughs> okay, let me just check out over here. Yeah, looking like a badass. <laughs> okay, quit screwing around. Painkillers, you know, for the headache. There we go. Come on. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Okay, so what do we have? Pupitorium, shower, bathtub. Oh, washing machine is here. Okay, what else? Where is Alice? There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Oh, something here. All on wake. The sudden stop. Okay, let's check out the message. Now first let me just go quickly around the apartment. See if there is anything interesting here. This is a nice apartment. Anything in the kitchen? No? Okay. What about this door? No. Okay. Listen to this. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it. Yeah, she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Ow, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show! Hmm. Okay. Show. So, let's go here. Turn on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Garrett Show! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. 
Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good, great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> Well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. What's more, do the face for his Sam. There we go. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you, and good night. At least I'd been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. <laughs> Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Ooh, you're going to pay for that, man. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid sentence. <laughs> now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour, it's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey, it's almost over, right? We can get back to normal, and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation, just you and me. Some peace and quiet. That's a good idea. Not going to end badly at all. Okay, so we're back Somehow, in Bright Falls. The clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. Yeah. We have the clicker. And it just clicks. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms. To make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. What? Please close the door when I leave. That was stupid. Good luck, Al. See you later. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? <laughs> I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On yeah. Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we're traveling through the woods and we're going to Cauldron Lake to use the clicker. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by okay. the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, <laughs> having been in the cabin yeah. all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself, 
it didn't really matter. My course was set. Oh, Ryzen? What the hell? Product placement. Is that a gunshot? Well, at least. Okay, uh, so... Why am I not at Cauldron Lake? You lazy bastard. So I need to drive. Okay, I'll drive. Okay. Come on, let's go. You know, this is a very beautiful game. If you made it free roaming, added some zombies, that would be awesome. Energizer. Whoa. Now I know how they paid for the game. Okay, there's another car here. Anything here in this RV over here? What do we have here? The Majestic Motel. Um, just down the road. Come on in. Nope. Okay. Oh, there's something here. Batteries, and uh, that's a soda can. Let me just see. What do I have? I have 18 rounds for the revolver, three flashbangs, four flares. Okay. Keep on going this way. 97.6 KBF FM Wait a second, something over there? No? Might as well check that You never know I don't think the placement of this barn here is just random yeah, thermals. I knew it. I knew it. Nothing else. You see, the interior is done. But you can't enter. Well, I got the coffee thermals. That's important. Okay. On. Yeah, drifting. Okay. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this tunnel. Yep. Um, okay. I knew it. I knew it. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Mm. And I don't have a flashlight? Oh, crap. Yeah, that's a good strategy. Leave all of your weapons and ammo. In the brightly lit room. What? <laughs> ah, crap. Yeah. Nope. Okay, people. Nope. Oh, crap. You stupid taken. Okay, 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 okay. Easy. Okay, can you just use the clicker again, man? I see a page over there. 
really low on ammo. That's not good. What is this? Crow. The Dark Presence wants to stop Wake. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the Rider so he could create the ending it wanted. The Rider knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane. Something that could hurt it. Now, the Darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the Rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, we have a car. Good. Okay, GTA, man. GTA. Don't crash. Oh, there's another car over there. And another one. else? No? No. Ooh, I killed that guy. Hey! Stop messing with my beagle. You stupid taken. I see one over there. Let me just focus the beams. And... Yeah! That's nice. Oh, oh, taken. There we go. You know, I have a feeling there's something over there. So I'm just going to explore a bit. Of course, with the car. Yeah. Probably not the best course of action. Ooh! Taken. Okay. Gotcha. Whoa. Come on. Go back. Go back. Got a few taken coming this way. I'm gonna run them over. Is that one of them? Ah, it's just a tree. Okay, screw this. Oh, I see taken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now you die. Ah, crap. Stop bothering me. Okay, we need to get to the motel here. The Majestic. Yeah, this is our destination. Okay, the car is smoking a bit. I'm gonna leave it here. I still think there should be some weapons cache over there or something like that, but... Uh. Destruction and creation are the same thing after all